over the past several years, mirrorless cameras have catapulted into the market and are now ranking closer, if not surpassing top DSLRs. They are smaller, more lightweight and offer many of the same features as DSLRs, if not more. The best mirrorless cameras are pushing the boundaries and are highly capable of creating rich video content. Hello everyone, this is Noah from 95 Cameras. In this video, we've taken a quick look at the best APS-C camera available today. Price information and links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description. If you have other products you would like us to review, please tell us in the comments or visit 925cameras.com. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting at number 5, we have Canon EOS RP. If you're looking for a full-frame mirrorless camera that won't break the bank, the Canon EOS RP might just be the one for you. Its feature set is relatively modest compared to the other models on this list, but it's well built. It takes amazing JPEGs and it's affordably priced. Despite being so light, the build and handling is excellent and it feels great in the hand. The front and rear dials allow you to adjust shutter and aperture settings. The other dials and settings all seem to be in the perfect place and everything is customizable of course. The Canon EOS RP's small size does lend to a few limitations however, for example, there is only a single UHS-2 card slot and the tiny battery only offers around 250 shots per charge. Performance wise, the Canon EOS RP does great. Its dual pixel autofocus system which isn't available in 4K video, performs admirably. It's also the king of low light shooting at the moment. In fact, many say it is the best low light shooting camera out of all the sub $2000 camera models. The 26.2 megapixels in the Canon EOS RP sensor ensure plenty of detail and make it a great beginner full frame option for landscape and portrait photographers. The high resolution gets in the way of the camera's burst speed though. With only 5 FPS in single shot autofocus mode and 4 FPS in continuous mode. Strangely enough, the Canon EOS RP's dynamic range leaves much to be desired. Images taken in RAW are noisier than they should be, especially when compared to the camera's peers. That undoes a bit of the low light shooting excellence. Unlike many full-frame mirrorless cameras, the LCD screen flips fully around. This is great for vlogging, as long as you don't need anything very complicated from the footage. The video features on the Canon EOS RP are a bit mediocre, and the rolling shutter, cropped 4K video, and 8-bit recording leave much to be desired. Moving on at number 4 we have Fujifilm X-T3. You don't have to be a Fujifilm fan to fall in love with the Fujifilm X-T3. It does just about everything and everything it does, it does well. Wanna just shoot and go? The JPEGs that come out of this little beauty are killer and need next to no processing. Do you want full raw control? The X-Trans 4 sensor captures more information than any other Fujifilm mirrorless camera, allowing ample room for recovering shadows or pulling back highlights. The autofocus of some of Fuji's X-Series lags a bit, but not the X-T3. The 425 selectable AF points really nail it, even in continuous shooting mode, making this the best Fuji camera for sports photography and anything involving a fast-moving object. The manual dials and analog look of the X-T3's camera body really make for a unique, tactile shooting experience in this digital age. There's something deeply satisfying about the feel of a physical dial when adjusting settings like aperture, ISO and shutter speed. It certainly beats having to dig into a menu. 
While the X-T3 is a great all-rounder with the tails, it really hits home when it comes to video. You will be hard-pressed to find more video recording options on any other mirrorless camera. The 4K video is light and fast at 60fps, and if you don't want to do your own color grading, the new Eterna color mode turns out fantastic footage. The only real issue with the video is that the LCD screen doesn't flip around for vlogging, everything else is just fantastic. Number 3. Sony A6500 The market for high-end APS-C cameras is a pretty crowded one. But the Sony A6500 stands out by offering a great range of features. There's a high performance sensor capable of resolving very fine detail, but it is the speed specs that lovers of high speed subjects, such as action and support, will likely to be drawn towards. There is a low FPS shooting, plus an extremely capable hybrid AF system. If you're someone who mainly shoots still subjects such as landscapes, posed portraits, then you might want to consider the very good Sony A6300, which is available even cheaper. For this camera, after what seemed like years of begging, Sony finally implemented a touch screen, which is joined by a high resolution viewfinder. You can also shoot 4K video as well overall a top range of appealing features. There is a high performance sensor capable of revolving to Nikon D500. Sharing many of the same specifications as the top of the line D5. The D500 has a vast swath of appealing specifications. First of all, it is designed to perform well in a variety of situations. There's an excellent autofocus system and processor that copes brilliantly with action and fast moving subjects, which you can shoot at 10 fps. The sensor, however, has a relatively modest 20.8 million pixels, which is great for coping with low light shooting across a very wide sensitivity range. With a robust body and plenty of buttons and dials to give you direct access to commonly used controls, the D500 also has an excellent viewfinder and a tilting touch sensitive screen. At number 1 we have Nikon Z50. Nikon may have been late to get serious about mirrorless cameras, but the Z50 isn't playing catch up with anyone. It is a very nice, solid feeling camera with well implemented touch control and superb image quality. Its autofocus system is also excellent and can cope with moving subjects in poor light. There are currently only two Nikon DX format Z lenses, but more are in the pipeline and F mount lenses can be used via an adapter. Also, as Nikon has used the same Z mount on the Z50 as it has for its full frame mirrorless cameras, the Z6 and Z7, the lenses are interchangeable. 